So, you know, here's an interesting thing that's been happening to me a lot. You know, I get stopped in the gym all the time um, and just random places by people who recognize me, who want to thank me for the work I do. And believe it or not, a lot of times, most of the time, actually, it's men. Okay? Men are the main ones who stop me and tell me how much they appreciate my work, things of that nature. But aside from that, there's been this run on men coming to me for advice in person, and they were all dating women older than them, okay? So I'm constantly meeting these guys dating older men. And what I find so interesting and fascinating about that is you speak to a lot of women and there's still so much hesitation or skepticism or fear when it comes to dating a younger man. And I'm like, this can work for y'all. Like, I, I, I really don't think people should be restricting themselves in that way. Of course, we got to keep it legal, right? But outside of that, like, there's so many potential great relationships that may not fall under the, the common perceptions of what the age should be between the man and the woman, okay? Now, I want to say this, you know, I think a lot of the struggle for a lot of people is because, I've said it many times before, people have been hurt, people have been jaded, and people are fed a lot of negative perceptions. And that's why I think it's so important that we make sure we heal, or how I want to phrase it right now is, flush all that negativity out of our system, because it is, it's what we need in order to see things more clearly and help us experience healthier relationships. I know with me, like, listen, I practice what I preach. I tell you guys to heal the, the same methods I give you, I've done for myself. And I've gone through the process of making sure that I was in the right headspace, that I've removed negative feelings, spirit that have been kind of weighing on me, and ensuring that I can move forward in a very healthy manner. You know, I, I was put on to the reality of seeking a counselor when I was in college. And it was such a life-changing experience for me. And looking back, I, I, I kind of see how, like I feel like it contributed or it was something that added to my story of how I ended up in this position now of helping others in this way. But that's one of the big reasons why I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And so I truly recommend checking out BetterHelp because they can connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful and unbiased advice. If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Stefan Speaks. I know starting therapy can be hard and the right therapist for you may not be in your area. And some people find the face-to-face -face interaction of therapy uncomfortable. To get started, you go to BetterHelp and you can fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist, in most cases within 48 hours or less. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. So start your journey today with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Stefan Speaks. Clicking that link helps support this channel and it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. All right, so now let's, let's get to what I, the keys I need you to embrace so that you can actually find success dating a younger man. All right. And if you're still, I know some of y'all are still going to be like, I ain't, I ain't trying to hear it. Let's just hear me out and keep an open mind. <clears throat> so key number one is focus on connection, not rules. Okay. I think too many people are hung up on the, the rules of life. Well, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. And all these different things. And of course, there's some great rules that we should follow out there. I think when it comes to relationships, um, and more specifically, who we allow ourselves to date, I think we have to start with, what, if we want to call it a rule, the most important foundation, which is connection, okay? And connection can transcend or cross the lines of, uh, the lines of age, okay? 
I've seen situations where, let's say a woman could be 45 and the man is 38. And though for some people that might be, well, that's a huge age gap, you know, things of that nature. It's like those two people were truly on the same page. All right. They, they wanted the same things. They were in alignment in various ways. Their communication was great. And for him, he didn't have any issue with her being older because he didn't view the woman as an older woman. He viewed her as the woman I love, the woman that I share so many great moments with, the, the woman who makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what we have to start doing is like re remove the age the restrictions you've put in your own mind and just say, okay, is he the man that I need? Is he the man that can show up in the way that I need? Is he able and willing to move in the direction that as I am and, and pour into me the things that I desire? If yes, why hold yourself back from that? Why, why undermine yourself? And if you are just so stuck in the mindset of, well, it's because he's younger, it's because he's younger. Like, like people literally don't even have sometimes a logical rebuttal or response to this. It's just they're hung up on, but it's the age, it's the age. And it's like, stop doing that. Stop doing that. And, and again, I'm only pushing it because I want you to be happy. I want you to be where, where you belong. And I just feel like I see too many, I've seen many success stories. You know, and so, but again, they were successful, not because there was an age difference. They were successful because there was a connection. And so my thing is, whether the man is older than you, same age, whatever, if there's no connection, I'm going to tell you don't bother. I'm going to tell you this isn't going to be worth it in the end. But if there is one, no matter what the scenario is, younger, same age, older, I'm going to tell you embrace it. I'm going to tell you move forward. You know what I'm saying? So focus on that. Focus on the foundational things. Focus on what is going to be needed to make the relationship successful. And if it's there, be willing to embrace it. All right. So here's another key to successfully dating a younger man is that you should not make any assumptions about him because of his age. So what am I talking about here? A lot of women shoot themselves in the foot or don't even allow themselves to venture into younger dating because let me throw this out there real quick. I know some of you do not like online dating. We'll leave that whole thing for a different time to discuss. What I will say is if you're already on there, right, I've come across many situations where I've encouraged women to give a bigger range as far as the age their date. So age they would date. So again, let's say a woman is 40, <clears throat> she might be saying on the on the dating app she's looking for 42 to 45 or 42 to 48 or whatever. And I'm like, why don't you drop that 42 <laughs> to 38 or you know to 36? And they're like, are you crazy? I'm like, listen, why not? But I I'm saying that to say like the reason why I'll get pushback sometimes on that is the assumptions that they make like, oh, well, no, you know, these younger men, they may still want kids and I don't want to have kids anymore. Why are you assuming he's going to want kids? How you know he don't want kids no more? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you jumping to that conclusion? Or, oh, well, he's going to want a, a younger woman. Who told you that? Why, why don't you let that man decide for himself? Like, why are you jumping to these assumptions and jumping to these conclusions and not even giving situations an opportunity, all right? We have to learn how to treat individuals as individuals. Some things, yes. What, 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 when, when people fall under certain demographics, it may raise the chances or lower the chances of certain things applying. So, yes. If the man is in, if you're a woman who's 40 and up, and, and, when I, and this isn't just for women who are 40 and up, this, you can be 30, you can be late 20s, whatever, but let's just use the example of you're 40 and up. 
Yeah. Is there a good chance dating somebody in his mid-30s that he will want kids still? There is. It, it increases the chances that he may still be at that mindset. But it doesn't guarantee he will. Okay? You should not make that assumption that he will. you got to be willing to allow yourself to explore the situations as necessary and let people present for themselves what they're looking for and what they need. Also, when it comes to the assumptions, another common assumption is of maturity, okay? Oh, well, you know, I, he won't be mature enough at that age. Let me tell you something. I, I can say this as someone who's been coaching for over 15 years, and I'm confident if you spoke to other coaches, therapists, anyone in helping professions that deals with a lot of different people. And I'm sure you as an individual will probably agree to this. Age does not dictate maturity. Let me, let me say it again, <laughs> okay? Let me say it again. Age does not dictate ma uh, maturity. I have, I have seen grown men, I have seen men, 40s, 50s, who still think and act like they're 20. I have seen men in their 20s acting like they're 50, <laughs> okay? I've seen it all. No, there is nothing that guarantees. Again, yes, does it increase or decrease the chances of maturity depending on what the man's age is? Absolutely. Absolutely. But it is not a guarantee. It reminds me of this one guy I met. Um, I, he, it was kind of a coaching session. Yeah, it was a coaching session. Anyways, this young man was 21 years old. Okay? This man was already making over $200,000 a year. He had, I think he was working for a company or he owned the company. Either way, like he had a real established career. He had his own house at 21. And he was like, listen, I'm, I know I'm 21, but I am not trying to be out here partying and dating different women and, and none of that. I want to find a wife and have a family and live a settled down life. Like his mentality was nothing of what you may cons consider a common 21 year old. Now, I'm not telling <laughs> y'all to go run out to go find your 21 year old, but I'm just saying, like, he's, he was just a perfect example of how you just never know. You never know. He was on, and it wasn't just those things, it wasn't just his desire for marriage and family and already settled down and not wanting to party and be on these streets. No, he articulated very well. He knew how to communicate. He all, Again, he was mature in many ways. They raised that man very well, very well. And so, and, and funny enough for him, he, his, his concern that he was expressing to me was, I can't find women my age who are on the same page as me. And I don't know what to do. And I had to tell him, like, listen, like, for where you are and the type of guy you are, you should not be against dating older. I, I, again, I'm not telling him he has to go super old, whatever, but I, I just told him, like, listen, you got to broaden your horizon because, and, and again, not that it means he couldn't find a woman his age that would embrace it, but he was struggling with that himself. And so he had to open his, his pool up to make it easier for him to find someone he's truly on the same page with, all right? So all that to say, like, age does not dictate maturity. Do not make assumptions because you never know. Let individuals be their own individual self. All right, so let's keep this thing going. And another huge key to successfully dating a younger man is you need to make sure you can truly respect him and not use his age against him, okay? So one of the common mistakes or downfalls or pitfalls of dating when there's an age gap, and, I, and I've seen this happen on both sides, you know, men dating younger, women dating younger, is the tendency for the, whoever's the older person in the relationship to, if maybe not consistently throughout the relationship, but in moments, you basically, hold the age over the other person's head. Like, no, I know better because 
I'm older than you, or you know what I'm saying? Just weaponizing it, essentially. Or flat out never really fully respecting the person as an individual because you are looking at them as the younger person that you're with, okay? That's disastrous. That's going to cause problems because the moment that comes out, that can create insecurities and, and other issues and it just goes snowballs from there. So you've got to make sure if you are going to venture into doing this, which again, I think you should at least be open to it, is that you, again, it goes back to what I've said throughout this video so far. You've got to view him as a man, not a man at this age. You have to view him as an individual. And the same criteria that would gain your respect if he was older than you or the same age as you should be the same criteria that gains your respect even though he's younger than you, okay? And you in no... If you even find yourself itching to say something smart <laughs> about his age, take it back. Like, the swallow it, do not say it. Now, listen, there's some couples who have age gaps and they can joke around with it and it's not a problem whatsoever. But again, it, it, it's a difference between genuinely joking around and when the joke has that hidden truth of a lack of respect behind it, all right? And so that's something you have to come to peace within yourself. And, and this is where if you honestly can't get to that place, then I'm going to say, you know what, you, you, you're probably not best dating younger because you're going to end up creating a problem unnecessarily in that situation. So you've got to make sure you can respect that man and <clears throat> understand that no matter what the age of the man is, there's a growth process, okay? And when I say there's a growth process, I don't mean making him into a man growth process. I mean that when two people come together, there is still a process of growing together stronger. There's still a process of growing and learning how to love each other. There's still a process in growing how to work with each other. Okay, and I think sometimes there's a there's a temptation to see any struggles and then point it to oh it's because of the age and it's like no because you were having them same struggles with this, with that joker who was older than you <laughs> like people be having these struggles with people who are the same age as them that's not an age thing that's just a two people who have to learn each other thing all right. And, and, and as long as two individuals are willing to put in the work and be patient and they communicate, then it, they can learn and they can fix things and they can make things better. But don't be so quick to view anything that's a, a, a problem in a moment as, oh, it's because of the eight. No, because then you'll just keep harping on it and then that in itself will destroy the relationship. All right. So we have a few more to go and uh, another big key, huge key. To successfully dating a younger man is you got to discuss everything. Now, this really should just be a no-brainer, okay? And this is going to apply no matter what kind of relationship that you're in. But I want to stress it because remember how we talked about a little earlier about making assumptions, okay? And the ways to address anything that you're trying to make an assumption about is to talk about it. So, Going back to the example of, well, maybe he wouldn't want to, uh, maybe he wants to have kids and I don't want to have kids. Okay, don't assume, just discuss. All right. Well, oh, maybe he's, he's going to eventually want a younger woman. Don't assume, just discuss. Like, whatever your concerns are, whatever your fears are, just talk about it. Talk about it and give that man an opportunity to let you know how he feels. You know, I, I think about, Again, I told you when I started the video how I've had like tons of men stop me who were all dating older women. <clears throat> Some of the situations where men, like I remember one guy, it, uh, he was saying how like he's so much happier now. His previous relationship was with a younger woman and he said that was disastrous. And then now he's with a woman, I think, nine years older than him. Um, and he's just like, man, this is the best relationship he's ever had. Right. And he's good. And so what I'm what I'm getting at with with this is that 
you you got to understand that for some of these men, depending on what they value, you may provide as a woman, forget as an older woman, as a woman, you may provide those things. And that's why you two can come into alignment with each other. And when you make assumptions about what they would want or need, you don't allow yourself to see how much you two are actually on the same page. But when you have discussions, when you're willing to address anything that's on your mind, you allow yourself to then see if there truly is a connection here. You allow yourself to see are we truly in alignment with each other and how we can succeed moving forward with each other, okay? So again, I won't make this point too long. Bottom line is talk about everything and assume nothing. All right, so a couple more we got. And so another big key to successfully dating a younger man is do not let the future scare you, okay? So what I mean by that is a lot of hesitation with from I've gotten from women with dating younger is like, depending on how big the age gap may be, is, well, oh, well, when I get to this age, how is he going to be when, like, if, if let's just say you're, you're 40 and he's 30. I'm just giving a random example. I know, I know I'm using, and listen, I'm using large gaps. For some people, the gap might be two years, one year, five years. But I'm using larger ones because I, and for some it might be, I, listen, I know a couple or of a couple, they've been married for 17 years. And the woman is, is she almost, she's almost 20 years older than him, if not 20 years older than him. And they've been married. So I think he was like 30 something and she was 50 and they've been married for 17 years happily. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. I'm just giving you, I'm giving you some, ex some extreme examples because again, I want, I, I just want you to understand how possible it is. For it to work and be fine. Because the key is it's two grown adults. It's two grown adults. All right? We're not talking about super, super young over here. We're talking about grown people who are moving forward in, in these dynamics. So anyways, um, they'll, they'll get... So let's just say it's that kind of a dynamic. Let's just say it's a, it's a 12-year gap. 50 and 38. Right? And the mentality is, well, dang, well, when I get 70 and now he's 58, how's he going to feel about being with me? And it's like, you worried about 20 years from now? <laughs> like, number one, let, let, let's get something clear. I, I would hope that if you move forward with this man and y'all were to actually get married, that you would last 20 years, okay? That's the hope. More than 20 years for the remainder of your life. The average marriage, to my understanding, you can correct me if I'm wrong, last, I think now it's at like eight years, it's somewhere around there. So let's just say seven to 10 years. And that's, that's people typically dating their same age and older. So you, it's like you're, you're, you're worried about something that has not even come yet, and you don't even know if you're gonna cro ever cross that bridge. Why do that to yourself if you're with an individual and you two genuinely make each other happy? It, it doesn't, doesn't make sense to do that, to shoot yourself in the foot like that. And so whether, whether it's a scenario like that or any other worrying about the future and what's going to happen later and how it's going to feel then. And again, even I go back to the kids thing because that's a big one I always hear. Well, what if he, he, he says he doesn't want kids now, but what if he changes his mind? Like, don't do that. <laughs> like, don't do that to yourself. If that man is willing to say, listen... Not having kids, depending on what your current age is or where you are or what your desire is with kids. If he's like, no, nah, I don't want to have kids. And, and, and just for the record, if this is flipped, because you could be dating a younger man and you could be at an age that you feel like you still want to have kids and that you're still fully capable of having kids. All right. And let me just say, I am not a professional in this as far as maternity, but with I know don't don't be so quick to limit what you think is your age of cutoff for having a kid. 
as far as the capability of doing it. Again, I'm not a doctor, get professional opinion, but I, I've, I've come across holistic doctors. There's one, a good friend of mine, Dr. Jalisa, who helps women with pregnancy later in their years, right? How to, how to cultivate that env environment physically that will allow you to do that. There's a lot more possibilities than people may realize sometimes. So I'm just going to say don't be so quick to write off without doing some research and seeing what actually be, can be accomplished. Of course, it's going to take some work for some people, for a lot of people, if, you know, depending on the scenario, but the possibility exists. Anyways, the point is don't let the, the thoughts of the future and things that are not here right now scare you. Okay, focus on the current situation. Are you on the same page? Is there a connection? All these other things and work with that. All right. So another key to successfully dating a younger man is do not overlook the need for healing. All right. So this is another one where really this is going to apply to any and all relationships. But I, I bring it up here even more because... I think that sometimes, again, our, our fears and inability to embrace certain types of situations is because of deeper unresolved issues, okay? And those fears, are, I feel like it can be easier to creep up in a situation like this because I'm going to say this, though I am in support of a woman dating a younger man. I do recognize and acknowledge that some women will date a younger man because they want a level of control and they feel that being the older woman allows them to still have more control, more authority, things of that nature. And, uh, and a lot of that need for control stems from things that have not been resolved. So though I want you to be open to this dynamic, I don't want you to be someone who's using it in an unhealthy way, okay? I don't want you to, because now you're, you're going to be putting this man through, through a mess. And, and on the flip side, it it's, it's can also happen with the guy where him, you know, some, there, there's good and bad situations everywhere. There are men who have dated older women because they genuinely fell in love with that woman. They don't give a damn how old she is or how much older than her, him that he, she is. And they found happiness. Whereas there may be some men who are needing a woman that can basically hold them down, basically be their mama, all right? It's an unhealthy situation. But the way you expose that is the same way you expose any other relationship. Is this man, has this man come here to do his part or just use you, all right? Is, is he taking, 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 or is he giving also? But that's a whole different video and discussion. The point is healing is necessary because healing to me helps us see more clearly how genuine we are at this moment about what we're trying to hold on to and even see more clearly how genuine this person that we're trying to hold on to is, okay? And so I think it'd be great not just for you to still make sure you don't overlook the need to heal, but encourage him. As, and when I say encourage, suggest. Because I don't want you dragging nobody to try to get healing. They have to make that decision for themselves. But there's nothing wrong with encouraging it. And I do believe that if, if he's serious about being with you and there's a genuine love there, then there's going to be a, a greater willingness to embrace something like healing. And even if you can say, even if you both can say, yo, we don't have any issues. Like we did some inner work before and nothing wrong with a quick checkup. <laughs> you know, like to me, it's just getting a checkup. Just be sure. Just be safe, you know. And, and, and with that, using that, that counseling to also establish uh, structure and framework for proper communication and, and how we handle um, conflict going forward and all these different things or anything that might linger like if there is that, damn, we love each other, but there is in the back of our minds, our, we're still struggling with the fact of the age gap that we have. Well, maybe there needs to be counseling for that, right? To help get over that hump so it's no longer creating a problem. So just make sure... Healing is always 
a part of the process for no matter who you're trying to date and be in a relationship with. All right, and now last but surely not least, the key to dating a younger man is put, go to God about your relationship. So what I mean is this. Listen, at the end of the day, again, whether the man's younger, older, same age, I don't care, you got to talk to God about it. You got to let God tell you if this is something that you should embrace. A lot of you may come across a situation one day where you meet a man <clears throat> who is younger than you, but you feel a connection with or you feel a great love for. And there's a part of you that wants to be with him, but you're allowing the outside noise of other people to get in your head, to throw you off, to tell you, oh, that's crazy. You can't be with He's too young. Boom, 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 boom. But it's like, listen, whose opinion matters? Those people or what God has to say? Who, who knows better what's, what's best for you? Those people or God? Shoot, you or God, <laughs> right? Like, we, we just got to make sure we're not letting all the other stuff throw us off in a situation or in a moment where we may truly need to move forward, right? So you got to make sure you stop, you pray, you talk to God, you go into it with an open mind, you ask him if this guy's for you, you ask him how to navigate the situation, you, you ensure that you're doing what you need to do, all right? And being prepared for whoever it is you're supposed to be with. But understand that, like, Again, I said in the beginning, and I'm going to say it now, I just want to see you happy. That's it. I, I genuinely just want to see every last one of y'all happy. And I wouldn't want what I feel is like sometimes a silly restriction to get in the way of you achieving that. You know what I'm saying? So let God guide you. Be open to the love that is out there, you know, and just be ready to receive what is truly best for you. Thank you for watching this video. I pray it was helpful to you. Be sure to watch this one over here on seven secret criteria men use to choose a woman. Men are really like dissecting that woman as far as how she presents herself and how that fits into his world. Family